Back in northern Tiller County, we've had a couple of showers and storms that have been uh, really moving across the area over the last several minutes uh, that really are primarily kind of clipping northern Tiller County right now north of Highway 24, producing a little bit of lightning. So you may be hearing a couple of claps of thunder uh, if you're joining us from Woodland Park. These storms as they move east of I-25 will begin to collapse and fall apart. We're not expecting any widespread severe weather this evening. Most of these storms will stay sub severe, but really lasting through about 8 o'clock tonight across those higher terrain areas. And a couple pulse variety showers and storms that have been ongoing here across the southeastern plains. Notice the little boundary that is stationed here across the parts of Springfield just south of the area with some storms that are ongoing that are releasing some gusty outflow winds. So that's why we're picking up the 45 mile per hour gust right now in the Springfield area. These winds will begin to taper off as we move through the evening time frame about 7, 8 o'clock, especially as the storms kind of collapse and fall apart with the loss of daytime heating. It's still a bit breezy across parts of the Sangre de Cristos, areas across Pueblo County, well, the 26 mile per hour gusts coming through uh, out that way. Notice the satellite and radar kind of shows more widespread storms out across so northeastern New Mexico, uh, just east of the Raton Pass. These storms are thriving on that daytime heating and a little boundary that is stationed across the area. Uh, the, the storms will continue through about 8, 9 o'clock this evening. As we kind of zoom out to give you a larger scope of the incoming system here across the Pacific Northwest, that is bringing some showers right along Interstate 5 for Northern California up to parts of Washington State. Uh, you can actually see as you go higher into the atmosphere, remember the atmosphere is stacked, so to see the parent circulations and the the larger systems, you have to go to about 500 millibars or 250 uh, closer to where that jet stream energy is. So you can kind of see that troughing pattern here across parts of the northwest. And then that ridge of high pressure is what we're under. Uh, and that is really contributing to our unseasonally warm temperatures, which will continue through the weekend as we're kind of going to be wedged in between two systems. Area of high pressure off towards the south and east, enough to give us 95, 100 degree temperatures across the eastern plains and still into the upper 80s, a good 12 degrees above of average for Colorado Springs on Saturday. But with the next incoming trough, that area of low pressure, it's going to cause a couple little waves of energy to come through. You can see that ripple effect here across central Colorado. That will contribute to the dynamics being favorable for some uh, more widespread storms by Saturday. It's going to increase our winds just a bit as well. And given the drought stricken conditions and the very gusty winds we're going to have tomorrow across the eastern plains, high fire dangers in effect from about noon to 8 p.m. It's still going to be breezy really all weekend. Saturday, breezy across the Pikes Peak region, but stronger winds across the eastern plains and those scattered showers and thunderstorms Sunday is going to be that day where we're going to have more widespread winds region wide. Those west southwesterly winds sustained to be really between about 20 to 30 miles per hour. So I would say in terms of stronger winds, Sunday is going to be one of those days. It's going to be a bit of a nuisance if you have plans to be biking or uh, out and about uh, doing something where winds become a bit of a problem. Saturday still breezy though. Uh, not saying it's going to be calm. It's just not going to be quite as strong as Sunday. Temperatures will be rising into the upper 70s for Woodland Park, middle to upper 80s for Colorado Springs. So above average heat does continue through Saturday with 90s across Pueblo and close to 100 degrees across the eastern plains. The thunderstorms that pop tomorrow will be your general run of the mill showers and storms, and they will become a bit more widespread by the afternoon hours, especially across the high country. So if you're camping or hiking, uh, these storms are going to start to materialize realize as early as noon, one o'clock kind of building right over the mountains. So watch that lightning uh, because that will be a problem tomorrow and then marching across I-25 between about 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. tomorrow. So wouldn't say cancel any plans. Uh, outdoors, but the earlier the better, probably uh, the best thing to do. Sunday, temperatures into the upper 90s to low 100s, uh, so very warm nonetheless. Any storms that pop on Sunday will do so mainly along and east of I-25. A bit more widespread there for parts of Highway 50, but drier conditions uh, will prevail here for Sunday. We're trying to get through it. Woodland Park, temperatures into the upper 70s to near 80 degrees, and then we continue with above average temperatures through early next week week overnight lows into the 50s and 60s best chance of storms again coming through for Saturday but the uh, heat will certainly continue region wide for Canyon City and for parts of Colorado Springs so a nice weekend nonetheless just watch those storms on Saturday afternoon stay with us we'll be right back pretty soon be